Hello, Dungeon Masters. Make sure to check out the previous videos, as this map is a direct follow-on from the previous Pyramid Dungeon maps. This map took around 30 minutes in real time to make. We pick up this week in the depths of the Pyramid Dungeon again, but this time on the final floor. After successfully navigating the first two floors inside the ancient temple filled with traps and epic fights, the bold players continue down into the heart of the pyramid. Now, I wanted this floor to be a little different to the previous floors. They were filled with exploration, traps, riddles and combat opportunities. Instead, I decided this room would mostly be a roleplay opportunity. My games usually have an even mix of combats and roleplay. I have set it up with a single trap to make sure the players understand the situation they find themselves in. As they descend the stairs and enter the first room, the walls of force will pop up stopping their forward progress, and the stairs behind them will also be surrounded by similar walls of force, preventing retreat. Effectively, this will trap them in the first corridor. They will hear the voice of the pharaoh offering them two options. Resist and die by poisonous gas, or enter peacefully and converse with a guarantee of freedom. Now, Normally, I don't like giving options that look like guaranteed death. Sometimes players are put in positions that are uncomfortable. I mean, James Bond frequently had little options given to him by the mastermind. This gives them an opportunity to find another result via roleplay. Once they have agreed to peaceful terms, be they the terms that they were given by the pharaoh or from role-playing for a better deal. They will be invited into a living area where the resident owners, a pharaoh and their partner, can live out eternity together in relative peace. Possibly only woken by the player's invasion into the structure or genuinely since its creation. Unless the players do something drastic, there will not be a physical fight here. There will, however, be a challenge of wits and tactics in the forms of a game of chess or any other game played by civilized folk. Maybe you could make up your own pieces, so instead of pawns you could have skeletons, instead of rooks you could have pyramids, instead of a king or queen you could have a pharaoh or an advisor, and so on. If you don't want a chess game, you could have the pharaoh ask the players further riddles to see if they are worthy. Perhaps they could perform for the pharaoh to please them and earn their reward. In the end, the winner of the game or games gets to take a prize. If the pharaoh wins, they could ask for a magical weapon to break down into essence whereas the players could take an object from the personal collection of items the pharaoh owns. Either way, the players will have a portal opened to the surface via one of the portals in the white marble room, allowing this dungeon to come to an end. Now, the pharaoh, if disappointed or insulted, could send them somewhere the players didn't expect and that could start its own adventure arc. How do you like to balance your encounters? Do you stick mostly to combat, or do you like to add in roleplay encounters regularly? Here is the description I would use to set the mood as they enter this floor of the dungeon. Within the heart of an ancient pyramid, 
hidden from the eyes of the living and guarded by time's silent decree, lies the opulent residence of an undead pharaoh, a sanctum that defies the decay of ages and the dust of forgotten eons. This grand chamber is an indication to the glory of a ruler who once commanded the jungle and fertile lands, but now reigns over the dead and shadows. The floor of this majestic dungeon is a masterpiece of craftsmanship and sorcery. Split horizontally into two distinct halves, each telling a tale of duality and dominion. The northern half is cloaked in black marble, as dark as the night skies that shroud the land of the dead. This obsidian surface, veined with the silver of starlight, reflects the eternal power and the inscrutable depth of the underworld. It is here that the pharaoh's throne, carved from a single piece of the finest hardwood and padded to perfection, stands in silent command. Next to it is an identical throne for the pharaoh's chosen. The southern half of this dungeon, in stark contrast, is adorned with white marble, pure and radiant as the sun at its zenith. This ivory expanse, polished to a mirror sheen, symbolizes the pharaoh's divine right and earthly power, a reminder of the life-giving sun that traverses the sky. The transition between the two halves is seamless yet profound, a boundary that divides the realms of life and death, light and shadow. Upon this grand stage, artifacts of untold antiquity and opulence are arrayed with deliberate care. Golden sarcophagi adorned with lapis and turquoise stand as silent sentinels, their surfaces inscribed with spells to protect their eternal slumber of those within. Jeweled treasures, offerings to the gods, and intricate items fill the space, casting glittering reflections upon the marble floor. Hieroglyphs of gold leaf climb the walls, narrating tales of conquest and divinity. At the very centre, where the realms of black and white marble meet, a table rests, a focal point of the ancient abode. On the table rests a single chessboard with pieces ready to play. In this opulent residence, the air is thick with the scent of myrrh and frankincense, and the silence is a heavy, palpable thing. In this place of power and eternal rest, the undead pharaoh holds court, a ruler between worlds, a master of the past and a guardian of the secrets that lie buried in the heart of the pyramid. So, that should be enough description for this scene. I hope you find them useful. Is there something else I should be adding to my videos to make them more useful to you? Drop your suggestions in the comments below. You never know, it may be something I can do. Thanks for watching. As always, please help us make more videos for you. It's free and easy. Hit that like button and sub if you want more. Leave a comment below to tell me what you would like to see next. And as always, may the dice ever be in your favor.